Hey, what's cooking? Vin Lamanti here. It's uh, whatever the hell time it is when you're watching it, actually. So I picked this up, a couple of uh, photos off of FB. Remember FB used to mean fat bastard? Is that politically incorrect? Good. Because uh, now it means Facebook. But anyway, all right, so I picked this one up. Check this out. All right, look, I'm going to put it up there. You can, uh, I guess, read it. All right, I'm a little jittery because I just worked out. All right, I was li lifting breadsticks for reps. Listen to this stat statistic. The statistic, wow. All right, since 1978, since 1978, the cost of college tuition has increased by 1,120%. Medical care has increased by 601%. Food has increased by 244%. Yeah, but there's a lot more FBs, you know, Facebooks. Uh, shelter has gone up by 380%. Wow, let's watch. There's Kleenex on sale, by the way, if you need, if you're whining and crying about this. Uh, meanwhile, the pay of typical workers rose by just 10%. Wah. Uh, m uh, minimum wage workers fell by 5.5%. Damn, I really wanted to work at M Mickey D's. And the average CEOs increased by 937%. You know those people that get upset about that? See, me, with my PhD in common sense, I skipped school completely. But my PhD in common sense means, okay, so the average CEO has increased by 937%. Why don't I just become a CEO and own and operate my own business from where? From here, from my house. Does that not make sense? Does it not make sense? I think there's a lot of people who get into networking, who, who are approached by network marketing, the pyramid business, and like, they call it that. I mean, I, I called it that too, but I think there's way too much college. I think what happens is the programming gets you so hard that it's, Difficult to see what's so simple. Now, here's another one I got. Uh, this, all right? All right, I don't think you see that, all right? Here's more blaming. People like to blame, right? Uh, with 20 million Americans still out of work, Congress should not reward 11 million illegal aliens with lifetime work permits. All right, so now I get that, but with 20 million, 20 million Americans still out of work, uh, that's great. Who wants to be in work? It's the middle of the day. I don't want to. F I, whenever I went to work, all I wanted to do is not be there. Is, is it just me? Is that did that ever make sense? It always made sense to me. I never had a picture on my wall as a kid. Is um, I want to go to work and uh, and and listen to some asshole boss spelled backwards. Boss spelled backwards is double s o b. You got that? I hated that term. Just think of the word boss, and I get it. I worked my whole life. I've always had a job. I get, I, I'm not saying quit your job and go do network marketing. No one's, no one's saying that. And if they are, they're, they don't know what, they're pitching you on something they haven't accomplished. What I'm getting at is the world has changed completely and it's time to have an open mind to what's really happening to create. And what's happening too is when people don't have time, the reason you don't have time or a lot of people don't have time is one, you're watching videos like this. But also, it's because the cost of time is going up. See, all these increases, it makes it difficult to pay for all the shit that's in these cabinets, all right? Tuition. Now, I'm not knocking school, but it does. the ROI isn't really there. You know, the ROI, someone just told me that they got a, uh, their niece got a master's degree in social, something with uh, being a, she wants to be a social worker and... No one's going to pay her 100000 a year. And even if you did get that, you're going to get whacked in taxes, get 60, it's 5000 a month. I mean, just do the math that you clear. How are you going to get ahead? So you need leverage. Without leverage, you have F'd. F'd. This is why you can go to the gym and pull down like a lot of weight because of the leverage, the pulleys. That part I understand. So create leverage from your house. I have no debt, no, no expenses, no liabilities, no rent, no insurance, no employees. Because listen, when I was an employee, my, this makes this, again, common sense. My job as an employee was to do as little as possible and get paid as much as possible. Does that make sense? So if you have employees, you know what that's about. I, this friend of mine owns very, it looks like very successful businesses here where I live, right? And he's, he's now in business with us. And he says, Vin, man, they got me by the balls. He, he can't, he, he has to actually get involved with him, his employees' lives, all right? And he, the rat race, he can't get out. This is why he's in a, he's in a leveraged business. 
It's about getting into a leveraged business, and I love it because we're having fun, creating wealth from our home, and the only way you can succeed is by helping others. Hello! Oh, that sounds too good to be true. Well, I mean, what, I, I don't know. What else do you want me to tell you? It's all over. You have social media right in front of you. Take a look at what's going on in the industry. Network marketing is bigger than the NFL music industry and entertainment industry combined. All right? So it's, it's growing at a rate of speed that it just hasn't happened this way before. Never before. And, and, and also kids coming out of school, they're displaced. Where are they going to go? They want jobs that people want to get rid of that and hate. You ever see the people that are um, flipping out in the office? A cubicle? Can you imagine? I'm just thinking about it. I want to break all this stuff. That's like being a caged animal. It really is. You have to... There's this woman who walks down my street in the morning. The poor bastard. All right? I, I, I'm in this house 10 years. All right? For 10 years straight, I every single morning I see her walk. She's got two bags. One... Two bags. All right? Her trapezoids must be like this. All right? She walks down. And in the winter, it's, it's like dark out. And then like... I don't know, it's like 12 hours later, she's walking up the street and down the street and up the street and she's trapped and uh, she's got a beautiful, well-kept home up at the corner uh, and she's not in it. I got people behind me have a very well manicured, beautiful home, they're not in it either. So um, I just, I love, I love what I do. I love this industry, it's taught me so much about leadership and becoming an entrepreneur. Have you noticed the term entrepreneur? Have you noticed that like Shark Tank and all these other shows are not happening and there's an entrepreneurial boom of people who want to own their own lives to really like, that's what freedom is. We can wave our flag, yay, freedom, hooray for Hollywood, right? And then you gotta go sit that a cubicle, all right? I mean, I'm do, you gotta do something to get free. Let's just be real. They didn't throw the tea, the North Boston Tea Party, they didn't throw the tea in the uh, harbor for job security. They did it for freedom. So free enterprise is where it is at, hands down. It's so friggin' obvious. It's a mathematical certainty. It's mathematical, just a, a very simple, very simple arithmetic. Third grade education is all you need, and then maybe. So I, I, I wanna rant about that. I, I love what I do. I love helping people. I love the fact that I have created this financial fortress around my family that, and we went through some tough ass shit, most of these know, and it, we can't be stopped. It can't be stopped though. It's a, it's a killer. It's, it's, a, it's a killer business model that just absolutely cannot be stopped. So I'm excited about it. If you haven't noticed, it's the middle of the day. I need someone to talk to, so I figured I'd talk to you. All right, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna share this with people and um, have listen, if someone comes to you with something, just have an open mind. Have an open, and, and really, you know, pick it apart. Pick it apart and see, uh, you know, see what's really, see the, find out the truth, all right? The truth will set you free. So uh, that's Vin Lamant signing out on this. Wow, it's, this is an eight-minute rant. This is a pretty long one. Be well, God bless you, and make it a great friggin' day.